thanks for joining in once again. Dominican Rendezvous here. I'm Marty, MJ Fresh. Appreciate you tuning in today. Today I wanted to talk about uh, sargasm. And I'm not talking about sarcasm, but rather sargasm. That's that brown algae that uh, somehow finds its way to the shores of the Dominican Republic each summer. And as summer uh, is here and quickly approaches uh, the Dominican Republic, once again, we'll have this growing invasion of algae, uh, if you will, uh, as it comes and it impacts the quality of life of the residents and the tourists of the Dominican Republic. But before we go there into our little topic today, uh, let me just say once again, thank you for uh, joining the Dominican Rendezvous channel today, the Dominican Rendezvous family, as it were. I do appreciate you tuning in. Please take a moment, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, please comment uh, and leave comments as you may seem uh, fit, that may seem fitting uh, for you too. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, share the channel as well as like the channel because that does help us uh, with our algorithm. Uh, take a look at the notes in the description box. There are ways to get in touch with us as well as to uh, help the uh, channel if that is something you're inclined to do. Um, we do appreciate any of your help and donations as it helps offset uh, some of the financial resources that it takes to uh, put some of this uh, uh, content together uh, as often as we do. Uh, please also keep in mind that we do have Buena Vista Caribbean Properties uh, YouTube channel uh, in which there will be and there is a main focus on real estate opportunities in the Dominican Republic. So you want to switch over to there, uh, subscribe to that channel, take a look at some of the content. There'll be more content being posted uh, in there uh, periodically as well. So please take a look at that. And again, even still on this particular channel, Dominican Rendezvous, in the playlist, you'll find a lot of, of topics of interest, uh, particularly in terms of real estate and business opportunities and investing in the Dominican Republic. Uh, before we get ready to start here and uh, just share a little bit about sargasm, I just also want to to uh, make sure that you are reminded that if you are traveling to Santo Domingo and you need uh, transportation from uh, Los Americas Airport, uh, we do offer a transportation service. Uh, here's the information right here. Take a look at this and get in touch with us and we'll give you more information as well as if you're looking for um, household services uh, to help you with your stay uh, while you're in the Santo Domingo, Puerto Plata, Santiago areas, we can help you with that. And that information also too is here uh, listed. So I wanted just to bring that to your attention really quick. As I mentioned, today's topic is about this brown algae that does um, wreak a lot of havoc in the Dominican Republic, and I put an emphasis on that word uh, reek uh, because it is in brown algae, <coughs> excuse me, that if you have seen it, if you have experienced it or have witnessed it, uh, you'll see these massive blooms of seaweed uh, inundating the shores of the Dominican Republic, particularly around Punta Cana and Barbaro areas. <coughs> Pardon me, excuse me. And um, you'll, you'll definitely be able to smell it. Um, it is a uh, problem that has been increasing uh, basically since 2000, I don't know, 2017, 2018. And if you have actually seen it up close, you know it has these uh, little translucent sacks of, of, of gases that helps it remain uh, buoyant and float uh, in the water. Uh, if you've ever went there and picked it up and looked at it, you'll readily know of what I speak. Uh, for the Dominican Republic, this has been a, a problem. There is a, a, a real life uh, problem uh, that, that this does uh, present. Uh, from the miles and miles and kilometers and kilometers of this uh, com decomposing algae, it has really been known to carry what some have uh, deemed as flesh-eating bacteria among its clubs. Um, it has, as I mentioned, presented a, a, a hardship for the Dominican Republic, an economical hardship, an economical headache, uh, as well as a, a bioecological nightmare to some extent. Um, and I, I might also ask, uh, also to some extent, a, a social crisis. It, could be uh, attributed to it too. People have have complained of, of nausea, uh, of headaches, uh, of breathing issues, 
And of course, if, again, if you've had the opportunity, and I'm not saying that you need to take the opportunity, but you have had the opportunity, you know this stuff stinks, and it does smell. It smells like it smells like rotten eggs, and and they're doing all they can, and they will do all they can to uh, clean up this uh, this n natural biological occurrence. Uh, crews do their best to uh, to keep up with it. It's it's very difficult. But if you've ever had the again that opportunity to take the a whiff of it, you'll know that it is basically hydrogen sulfide uh, that makes it smell like rotten eggs, and it does stink. It does reek. And if there's anything that's good about all of this, is that it does present a a uh, floating habitat uh, for for shrimp, for crabs, and and other uh, water sea like animals. So that is is looking at it from a perspective of the glass being half full but the Dominican Republic tries to keep up and they use boats to uh, get out there on the water to troll and to to try to collect it uh, they're trying to as I say turn lemons into lemonade by uh, making this a possibility or making this uh, um, biological occurrence this um, ecological um, happenstance uh, to make it a, 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 I guess I should say a stepping stone for economic development because it has been said that with these, um, with this algae, uh, you can turn this into agricultural fertilizers. Uh, some have mentioned it turning it into uh, biofuel. Um, I read recently that the uh, you're, there are countries in a European community uh, that are coming over and looking to import it, or in this case, export it from the Dominican Republic, import it into Europe, and to make um, um, textiles out of it, as well as pharmaceuticals and cosmetics. So uh, there is some opportunity there. Um, but, you know, for, for the Dominican Republic, and as important as tourism is for the Dominican Republic, it is not a good look for, for many tourists who are on familiar with it, uh, who don't want to be near it, uh, but the scientists, the politicians, the business people of the Dominican Republic are all trying to uh, really work together to find solutions uh, to this problem. Now, the question is where did it come from? And not many people really, really know. There's a lot of thought that it came from the massive um, agro business industrial Brazilian complex uh, from some time ago and whatever happened down there ecologically sort of spread uh, this uh, uh, problem uh, from 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 Brazil and it has floated up in and around the Caribbean and the uh, Gulf of Mexico as well but anyway if you're visiting the Dominican Republic don't be alarmed don't let this scare you don't let this dissuade you there is many other things that you can uh, partake in and do uh, and enjoy in a Dominican Republic. You can look for beaches where um, there isn't so much of this around, where there isn't so much of this sarcasm uh, available. Um, as I mentioned, we're in the season now, pretty much May, middle May, end of May, June, all the way through October. Um, you'll be seeing uh, this along the shores of this beautiful Caribbean island, the Dominican Republic. So again, you know, just Take it for what it's worth. Try to live with it. Um, it's going to happen. Um, it's a natural thing that just happens. So uh, we want you to just to be aware um, of this. So having said all this, welcome to the Caribbean island of the Dominican Republic. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again. As I said, uh, please take a few moments to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate you. Have any questions, any comments? If, if you have any comments of what you've experienced with sarcasm, uh, that would be a, a very nice thing to put into the comments and let us know and then share with others and to dis start a discussion on it uh, that way. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. From me to you, Dominican Rendezvous. Thank you.